Apollos noticed this bird, that it wasn't acting normal. And he is correct. It is not acting normal. It's got its butt pulled up. So I'm going to see if this bird is egg bound. I need to figure out if she's egg bound or not. And one way I'm going to do this is by putting my finger, inserting my finger into her vent about two inches and then seeing if I can feel an egg. And if that doesn't work, I'm probably going to call my vet friend Belinda. <laughs> so yeah. let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, man. Good, she's got a decent amount of energy. So I can see. Yeah, so she's definitely not normal here. So I'm just gonna insert my finger into her vent up and see if I can feel an egg two inches and I cannot. So the good news is. She's not egg bound. She's not egg bound. One more time. Okay, so she's not egg bound. So that's good. And what does that mean? That means she doesn't have an egg bound up inside her flute or inside her vent. I think you beep her in. And then, so what do you think is wrong with I her? Just, I'm going to go wash my hands. Hang on. I think there's something else wrong with her. We're taking a few steps. Is she trying to poop? Is she constipated? We don't know. We don't know. She could be constipated. <laughs> That'd be funny if she is. I did not feel an egg, as you saw. I have consulted with my vet, who happens to be one of my best friends, uh, which is very handy um, to have your friend on the other end of the phone who actually knows what she's doing. And she said that I was correct, that if you can't feel the egg, then most likely that means they're not egg bound. There are a few cases and other Let's see how she is now since causes that that could with egg binding like her breaking inside. She used some medical term. I didn't understand it. Oh, I'll show you how sick she looks. Which chicken does not look like the others? So now my friend said that chickens need to stay hot, so we should keep her warm. So we put her in the sun. I can put her under lights if I need to, but first I'm going to give her this concoction. Is gonna, Apollos is gonna crush up some tums. Get on you, just whack it. Good job. It's powder. Now we're gonna put it with the egg. Okay, we're gonna need it. So I'm just gonna syringe this into her mouth. Now the reality is, once a chicken looks that sick, the most likely outcome is it's gonna die. Well, maybe not, but it could. I wouldn't get. I wouldn't hold your hopes up too high. Yeah. But we'll give it a shot. We're giving this yolk for some good, easily digestible energy. Good job. Kind of to some calcium to help her with her egg laying. All right, carry it out with you carefully. If that doesn't spill, I'll be shocked. Yeah, it wouldn't spill. Take, okay, make sure you get the correct chicken. Okay. This is the crack chicken. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna syringe some egg into her mouth. So we're gonna lift her head up. Um, and you can see that what I'm offering is tasty. Oh, sorry. You went too far down. Too much. Good girl. Eat that and then we'll do another one. Okay, one more time. Okay. So this is egg yolk and I'm hoping it will just give her a boost of energy. One more. It could have some blood issues. You know what I mean with the other chicken we had? Paulus is our chicken man on the homestead. First thing in the morning, he wakes most up. of the time wakes up, gets up, lets the chickens out, checks their water, checks their food. Does the drill. Good morning. I'm gonna get some water now. Yeah. So. Good girl. Oh, she's drinking. I it. found out chickens like the all the water bubbles. What? A bit more. Go in the grass now. 
So now I'm just putting it in her mouth and making her swallow it. That's really tasty. Everyone's jealous right now because you're getting egg yolk and chickens, by the way, love eggs. Don't let them get a taste for their own eggs or you won't get any. Yeah. bird is alive or dead. Oh, here she comes. She's still alive. Oh, she's alive, honey. Andrew, you want to help her out? She's already spilled the water on her. That's not good. She definitely needs help. Trying to go back in now. She couldn't get out. She tried to get down, she fell, and then she couldn't get out. Do you want me to move the water so you can grab her? make it. Oh no, she got wet. She can't walk properly. She may make it. She's gonna head around more. Yeah. I want to see her walk. She wasn't, she's, she's not walking properly. Good morning, ladies. That's a good sign, she's eating. Definitely can't walk properly, so I brought the water here and she instantly took a drink of it, but. Oh. Pooping on camera, that's rude. Well, we'll see. What do you have there, Esther? One. It's the first cucumber. And it's huge. It's the first cucumber we have ever grown. First one I've ever grown in my whole life. My goodness. It's so exciting. What a happy memory. Not to mention all this healthy greens. This is more healthy than <laughs> Well, I don't know. Because it's really light inside. Other good news, my chicken's not dead yet. There may still be hope. <laughs> that Phoebe, Phoebe, do you want a piece of our homegrown cucumber? Those are some big pieces. They look great. Okay, mm, look at that. Look at that. What do you think? Is it so mm. good? Yeah. Phoebe, do you want to try one? Yeah. Phoebe, do you want a cucumber from our garden? She's 
She loves cucumbers, but Wait, she's got her milk right now. Hey, sweet girl. Good morning. Dad, you want to try one? That's a successful cucumber. Thank you. And the garden it came from, Phoebe, how pretty is it this morning? Pretty. Uh -huh.